Hey guys, so a couple of my friends were wondering how I was playing Wizard 101 on my Mac. And, um, I really don't have the greatest answer, um, but it does work. So, this is one of two ways that you can do it. And, um, you want to just Google, I guess, uh, crossover games. And then you just click the first link, and it's run Windows games on your Mac easily and affordably. So it's like, oh, it costs money. But um, there's a free trial. But the thing about this is that it only lasts 14 days. So I'm currently using it right now because I just figured out how to. So I've been playing on my Mac for the past two days. But after those 14 days are up, it's like $60 to buy the license for the software. And, I mean, if you don't have a PC at all, it's definitely worth it. So you can play games like... Uh, that are shown down here that you can look at while I talk real quick and um, Wizards 101 is one of them that is only playable on PC but basically what this does is that it um, lets you convert PC games to your Mac so unfortunately it only lasts 14 days for the trial and then it's 60 days to buy the license but um, you can click install or download free trial and you'll get the free trial and then after that you can click Wizard 101 and it downloads it and you get the same little icon as you would and um, you just have to play it through crossover, which is what this is called. So that's the first way. And um, unfortunately, it only lasts 14 days. But if you really need it, <laughs> then you can do the trial. And you might be able to do the trial over and over and over again. But um, also, what I figured out is that when your trial ends, you cannot play the game anymore. Because when you lose the ability to play a PC game on your Mac, the game that was downloaded through crossover games can no longer be played either so it's not really like um, it doesn't download the game for you to play on Mac it downloads the game for PC and then you have the software to play it through your Mac so that's the only way that it works and it's kind of unfortunate but that's what it is and um, there's something else that I haven't quite checked out yet because I've been using this but when my 14 days are up I'll definitely check it out and it's um, it's called Winery. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the website is. I saw a video of it on YouTube on how to download PC games through something called Winery. Honestly, it looks really, really complicated, but um, I will link the video in the description of how they did it, and you can check it out. And let me know if it works, because I'll probably end up trying it after 14 days, because I really love my Mac. My Mac's a laptop, and the uh, computer that I share with my roommate is a PC, and it's a tower. So... I'd rather be on a laptop, I'd rather be on my Mac, so, and I'm sure everyone else that uses Mac would, and I'm probably going to get a lot of, like, hate comments about Macs, but, whatever, so, this is what I learned, you can use this for 14 days, but when it's over, um, you can check out Winery, which I will link in the description, I'll link the video, and the video has the website, so, you can just check that out, and let me know if it works, but, um, that's it for this video, um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. I'm going to be uploading more videos, so if you keep staying tuned, subscribe to me, you know, that's good. That's what's going to make me make more videos. So if you like them, um, then subscribe and more will come. So thanks for watching, and I hope that this helped you for 14 days, or unless you buy the license, which, um, I mean, I would if I didn't have a PC, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and if you subscribe, I can keep making more videos. Thanks, bye.